So today we'll be discussing the chapter 8 subnetting IP networks. So subnetting is all about uh, efficient use of IP addresses. Okay. So this chapter, so we're on the chapter 8. So we'll be uh, examining the creation and assignment of IP network and subnetwork addresses through the use of the subnet mask. Activity so broadcast domains. So broadcast domains. So in an Ethernet LAN, devices use broadcast to locate other devices. So one example is using ARP request. So we sends layer two broadcast. So broadcast is only for LANs or layer two. So the routers cannot uh, route the traffic to remote networks. So we also use broadcast for services like DHCP, uh, who sends broadcast on the local network to locate a DHCP server. Okay. So for a host, so if a host is re requesting for addresses, so it will send a broadcast address to the network and then to, lo to locate the server for uh, the information or addresses. So switches propagate broadcast out of interfaces except the interface under which it was received. Okay. So if the routers do not propagate broadcast. Okay. So therefore, each other interface connects a broadcast domain and broadcasts are only propagated with its specific broadcast. Okay. So broadcast domain, so literally it's just for uh, layer 2. So problems with large broadcast domains. So okay, let's see. So a large broadcast domain is a network that connects many hosts. So problem with large broadcast domain is that this host can generate excessive broadcast and negatively affect the network. So in figure one, then one connects 400 users that could generate broadcast traffic, resulting in slow network operations and slow device operations so due to the significant amount of traffic it can cause okay, then slow device operations because a device must accept and pass each broadcast packet okay, so for example so we have here the router so it sends a broadcast uh, broadcast message or broadcast traffic so this switch here will uh, so accept and passes each broadcast packet. Okay. We'll, uh, accept it. But for the figure two, so we have the router uh, two lands, okay. so 200 users each. Okay. So let's see. So the solution is to reduce the size of network to create smaller broadcast domains in a pass called uh, subnetting. So these small smaller network spaces are called subnets. So figure two. Okay. So we separate T for uh this large broadcast domain. So this has the LAN. We have four hundred users. Now we subnetted it with uh two LANs with two hundred users each. Okay. Next is reasons for subnetting. Okay. So, subnetting reduces overall network traffic and improves network performance. So, our administrators can group devices and their services into subnets that are determined by. So, we have the location for figure one. Okay, so, in this uh, figure, we have lands in different floors. Also, our organizational unit. For at the land for administration, the students, accounting, and human resources, and device types. So, for example, we have here the land for all host, the land for the servers, and land for the printers. Okay. So, octet boundaries. What is this? So, 
that down the release we have so in this figure we have the prefix length and their subnet mask in decimal so for slash 8 we have 255.0.0.0 that's zero, that's zero, that's zero. then subnet mask in binary so all ones represent the network portion of the IP address and then this zero here uh, represents the host portion so the more zero the more host that can uh, but uh, lesser uh, subnets then in slash 16 we can accumulate 65,000 over 65,000 hosts then the slash 24 is 254 so the slash 24 prefix is most used because of its reasonable amount of number of hosts that can carry a host Subnetting on the octet boundary. Let's see. Ah, okay. So this. Uh, okay. Here we are subnetting a slash eight. Slash eight. Ah, uh, slash eight. Prefix. So in slash 8, we can submit it into slash 16, having 256 possible subnets with 65,534 host per subnet. Let's see. Okay. So we have this address block. So that address block can connect six, six, over 16 million hosts. So now we can uh, submit it with a slash 16 notation so ho just holding 65 over 65,000 hosts okay we can also use the slash 24 from the this address block uh, we can have uh, over 65,000 subnets with 254 hosts per subnets okay. so plus less subnetting what is this Okay. So on the last example, we have subnetting the slash eight sixteen twenty four. Okay. So however, however, subnets can borrow bits from any host bit position to create other mask. Okay. We have in this example we have the slash twenty five. So it is subnetted from the slash twenty four. So from slash twenty. 24 we have slash 25 which can hold two subnets and then we, ca we can have two subnets which 126 host per subnet and so and so forth or slash 30 so this is the limit for the prefix length prefix, prefix length because of if we have slash 31 we can now uh, have uh, available host because we can include the network address and broadcast address. So we have two six in slash thirty. We can have uh, thir sixty four subnets with two hosts per subnets. Okay. Uh, this can happen by uh, borrowing bits from the host portion. Okay. So if we borrow one bit. From the host portion, we can so, have two subnets. Just borrow uh, bits. So from slash 24 here, 24 bits, we can have 25 bits, 26, 27, 28, 30 bits. Subnet must. We already know that. Plus the subnet in example. Let's see. Okay. Classes, class less of anything. Okay. So we will not be reading this. Okay. Let's just see. So in the figure one we have the one into one six eight one that's zero slash twenty four network. Okay. So we have the twenty four bits uh twenty four bit 
network address a uh, network portion so it's on 255 3255 and the remaining 8 bits would be the host portion so it's all zero so with no host bits borrowed the host portion both network address and mass are all zero so, so borrow one bit from the host of the address okay. so as we borrow one bit so our network would be slash 25 then it created two subnets so we now have the 0 and 1 and then the new subnets have the same subnet mass ok we have the same subnet mass of slash 25 um, from slash 24 okay, we now have the 255.255.255.1 .255 that one to eight. So this is the these are the addresses address block created the two subnets so one into that one six eight that one that zero slash twenty five and one into that one six eight that one that one two eight so creating two subnets okay so in the last example we just created two subnets right so we just uh let's have another example so slash 25 subnet topology so this land here so there are two broadcast domains here so this land here holds 126 hosts from point one to uh one two seven point one to one two six because 127 is the uh, broadcast uh, address okay. this is 0 so we have 1 to 126 127 is the broadcast, broadcast address okay. so network address first source address last address address and broadcast address I think this is the for the second range so which is the one point 128-25 we have the first address of 129 and last house address of 254 so network address and broadcast address is not uh, are not included in the available hosts okay. Okay, this is the configuration for R1 for gigabit ethernet slash 0 slash 0 we have the IP address so it should be so it, the most common gateway is the first address on the network network is most commonly used in configuring the default gateway for the interface on the router. Okay. So one and one two nine. Alright, this example for but as I for it was like it should be on the range. Okay. Video demonstration submitting formulas uh, so this are this is my R formula for calculating the number of subnets for, uh, subnets okay, n is bits borrowed okay for example we have let's see. okay when we borrow this uh, host bit here we can have two subnets then four then eight so it's two raised two to n where n is the borrowed bits so two raised to one two raised to two two raised to three four five then this is the calculate number of hosts formula okay so where n is the number of bits remaining in the host field <coughs> okay now we will be Counting the number of host bits. So, for example, we have zero bits remain in the host field. Now, two raised to seven is 128 IP addresses per subnet. But the available host is one only 126 because two raised to seven minus two. Okay, so that is our formula based on the number of uh, host bits. Creating for subnets, so it's the same 
uh, operation okay so we just need so when creating four subnets so obviously we need to uh, borrow two bits from the host address okay. so let's see so the enterprise okay. using private network 1.2.168 1.0 slash 24 range so requires three subnets okay borrowing a single bit only provided two subnets therefore another host bit must be borrowed as shown in figure two okay we will be borrowing two bits because if we borrow two bits two raised to two so it uh provides uh four subnets Then the four subnets, we can have the 1.0 slash 26, 64, 128, 182. It's all, be, it's all on the slash 26 prefix. And they all have the same as. So 6 bits remains in the host field. So 2 raised to 6, we have 64 addresses per subnet. And 62 available uh, addresses per subnet. Okay, so it's just the identifying the network address. So we have the one that zero, the first host and last address, and the broadcast address. And then the configuring the interface with one two six. Demonstration. Creating subnet subnets with slash with a slash 16 prefix so also just the same with our subnetting with slash 24 so let's see let's see so the reason it is big okay so in this situation require a large number of subnets before networks required that has more host bits to borrow from. Okay. So the slash 16 is more on uh, when we need uh, more subnets and more hosts. Because in the slash 16 you can have uh, 65,000 hosts. Yeah. But on slash 24 you can only have 200 54 or 254 address so the operation is uh, also the same so when we borrow one bit we can have two subnets which holds 30 to over 32,000 hosts because so it is based on the number of host bits so for example we have 8 then 7 so 2 raised to 15, it's uh, 32,000. Creating 100 subnets with a uh, 16 network. So we just need to uh, borrow bits that will satisfy uh, 100 subnets. So we have, let's see. Then we borrow 6. I think 6, 34, or 7 bits so we can have 128 subnets so in the example we have from slash 16 location from borrowing uh, one bit we can have two subnets up to seven bit okay. so when we borrowed seven bits we can have 128 subnets which satisfies our requirement of 100 subnets What's this? okay from slash 16 we now have the slash 23 network uh.
current rate 138 subnets okay so up to 254-23 calculating the host but ah okay so for we have the 9 bits remaining for host so 2 raised to 9 we have 510 host per subnet So it's slash 23. The demonstration. It's creating a thousand subnets with slash 8 network. So it's also the same. We just need uh need to borrow from the host bits. Okay. So until we satisfy the requirement of 1000 subnets. So in this example, we need to borrow 10 uh, bits from the host bits so now we can have 124 subnets so now we are uh, focusing on the number of subnets the requirement of number of subnets no? okay so 14 bits remain in the host field now we can have over 16,000 host IP address by subnet per subnet so it's still a pretty large uh, number of hosts so dubnetting based on the host requirements so on the last uh, last last topic <laughs> so we're on uh, subnetting based on the uh, required subnets but now we are uh, subnetting based on the host requirements so we just uh, see. So, there are two considerations in planning subnets number of hosts address required for each network and the number of individual subnets needed okay. so we're just basing on the number of hosts and we're using the our uh, formula for calculating the number of hosts okay. so if we need uh, for example we have 60, we need 60 hosts so we'll be using this slash 26 because it can ha hold uh, 4 subnets with 62 uh, hosts no? subnets <coughs> subnetting based on network requirements Work requirements. Okay, so just for uh, subnetting based on the, for example, organiz organizational structure. So we can uh, subnetting on human resources, sales, engineers, technical support. Okay. So in this case, the number of subnets is more important in determining how many bits to borrow. Okay, we can. Subs are nothing based on network requirements. It's up to you. So how we so our style in submitting. So network requirement example, what is this? So we have the network address, network portion. Uh, okay, so corporate headquarters has allocated private network address of 172.16. Okay, we have the slash 22 here. Topology for branch location. We have so five LAN segments and four internet network connections. So five LANs and then four internet network connections. Okay. So we need also addresses for the links. Okay. The largest subnet requires 40 hosts. Okay. So this LAN 3. So, uh, a minimum of 6 host bits are needed to provide addressing for whole 40 hosts because the 6 bits we have 62 hosts. Okay. So, using the formula for determining subnets, results in 16 subnets. Requires 9 subnets. Okay. 6 host bits. Two 
2 raised to 4 y <coughs> ah okay, okay because we are on this that's 22 okay And have 16 host as uh, 16 subnets with uh, 62 hosts per subnet. So, but we only require nine subnets. What are for the first four bits can be used to? Ah, okay, the first four host bits. Because if we only borrow three bits, so that will uh, only ha we can only have eight subnets. But we require a nine subnet, so we must use the sixteen subnets. Okay. okay, so just example this. Okay, we assign the address blocks for the networks. DVT, calculate the subnet mass. Let's see. Subnet mass binary, we have 1 and 1. 2, 2, 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. I think. Prefix notation, it is slash 27. Incorrect. Ah, <laughs> okay. So 25, 26, 27. So it should be this one. 128, 192, 224. Okay. Determining the number of bits to borrow. Let's see, we have. Okay. So we need 25 hosts needed. Okay. So obviously we have. So, 2 raised to. 32 okay 128 64 32 so i think this is enough 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 raised to 5 is 32 huh? so subnet mass 255 that 255 that 255 that 224 slash 27 So for 1000, we can have let's see, 1000. So we have <coughs> so I think this one right here. So 254, 256 address, then 5, 12. So it would be 12, 124, 1024 minus 2. So we have 1022. Then 255. That 255. That 250. Or 252. That's zero. Am I correct? 252, 254, 255. <coughs> so it's slash 22. 24, 23, 22. So 75. So 128. So I think 128 is enough. <coughs> 128. Correct. 255. Slash to five. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh. <coughs> so we now have the two beats two four eight. 
Apa? Apa? Just get food. So we're back with our food. Then two five twelve five ten host. It should be two five five. That two five four. So slash twenty three. Check. Easy. That is it. No. Traditional submitting waste addresses. Okay. So, example, we have have the network topology. <coughs> so, figure one requires seven subnets. So, each of one, one for each of the four lands. Okay. And then three for one links. We also need a network address for that. So using traditional subnetting with the given address of one hundred two one six eight that twenty that zero slash twenty four. So we can borrow three bits from the host portion that has opted to meet the subnet request. To create eight subnets. Alam mo. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have. So the requirement is we need seven subnets. We can borrow uh, three bits from host portion to have uh, so we can create eight subnets that satisfy our requirement. So that. 
Did spy host beats with 30 usable hosts per second. Okay. So each network we have 30 usable hosts per subnet. This game creates and needed subnets and meets the host requirement of the largest LAN. Okay. So the largest LAN is so 20 hosts, 28 hosts. So it also satisfies the host requirements. The, the largest uh, number of hosts in a LAN. Okay, so, so although this traditional subnetting meets the needs of the largest LAN and divides its address space into adequate number of subnets, so it results in significant waste of unused addresses. So for example, only two addresses are needed in the each subnet for the three one needs. Okay. So we have here the three one links, right? So we add, uh, assign addresses to this with 30 host uh, or 30 usable addresses. <coughs> but commonly on one links we only need two uh, IP address. So that leaves us with 28 unused addresses for each links and we have three links here. So this results in 84 unused addresses. So it is inefficient. Okay. So next, okay, traditional subnetting creates equal size subnets. Variable length subnet mask. So in a traditional subnetting, we have each subnet has the same number of available host addresses. <coughs> but using the VLSM or variable length subnet mask, we can further subnet the subnetwork. Okay. Basic VLSM. Okay. So, uh... So in this, uh, so the last example we use this uh, net for five and six for one links. Now we uh, can use the uh, net seven for subnetting for the one links. Okay. So in the example, this last two to seven <coughs> subnet it to slash thirty because slash thirty will uh provide the available uh, addresses so uh, it's ideal for one links the slash 30 so after we have new messages we can have five unused slash slash 30 networks and then for slash four five six so we can have available address blocks for that. Okay. So we execute some build some practice or okay. so we're just using the uh, resulting build seven network to pull. Okay. So we use the net seven for the address for one links because if we use the net four, for example, we have here just for uh, we just need to separate our uh, network for one links. Okay. So we can have uh, net four, five, six available for. Uh, in case of we need to add LANs, okay, so we can have four, five, six. So if we submit this for for one links, then there is no uh, continuity or consistency. <coughs> so 
we just apply this star network this is 27 is 34 uh the one days and then this is the just the configuration for each routers the interface of routers well the same chart uh, Okay, this is the initial chart. So the one link for router and route R2. So slash 27. We have the dot 129158. But we only use, we need two host address. Okay. So this is, we allocate the uh, last subnet for one links. Okay. Now let us add with five host addresses. Practicing VLSM. Five point zero slash twenty four new subnet mask. Calculate fifty users per subnet. Okay, so a new subnet mask is. We can have 62 address available 62 address slash 36. So this is obviously I have obvious answers. I've set two. <coughs> Calculate 20 users per subnet. Uh, slash 26. Subnet range from to this one slash twenty six slash twenty six. So I have two two four. Here boy one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. It's a twenty four subnet range. Second full subnet range last twenty six from should be one nine two. No, should be one nine two. That is last twenty seven. Yeah. Second full subnet range. Ah, second full subnet range. Do it. We also prefix station. Okay, so sixty four so one two to one two seven. Ah, okay. We also prefix it should be the range sixty four to one two seven. And this is our. This is the moment. Oops. Okay. We've been this one. Sorry. So network addressing uh, planning. So this assignment should not be random. Okay, this means looking at the entire network, determining the main sections of the network and how they will be submitted. Okay, so the adjust plan includes determining the needs of this each subnet in terms of size, how many hosts per subnet, and how how host addresses will be assigned. Which shows will require static IPv4 and which shows can use TCP for obtaining their address information. Okay, it is just for planning IP address assignment the best practices planning to address the network okay we have prevent duplication of addresses so 
I mean, in planning our allocation for addresses, must avoid the duplication of addresses. Okay, so let's plan that. Monitor security and performance, and provide control and access. Right. Sign so, addresses to device. Okay, we have. So this is a sample format. So there are different types of devices that require addresses. We have the end users. So it is most commonly uh, at this dynamically configured with DHCP servers and peripheral servers that are accessible from the internet. So we have here the uh, static, should statically configure it. And major devices and gateway. Uh, gateway is our LAN interface. First, last. Mm, okay, so define it on the last address. So gateway is most commonly uh, configured with first or last address in the network. Okay, right, right. This is just a review for V6 global unit address. We have 48 bits for global routing prefix, subnet ID and 16 bits for subnet ID and 64 bits for interface ID. So subnetting using the subnet ID. So in IPv6, okay, let's see. Because the number of address is not an issue for V6. So just in subnetting an IPv6 address, so we just change the subnet ID. Okay. For example, we have this. No. So five subnets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just assign it. Because V6 is not the same as V4 because uh, we're saving addresses in V4 but V6 so you have more available addresses for V6 so we, uh, we don't need to save address for V6 so in subnetting with V6 we just subnet with uh, the subnet ID okay. so I think it holds we're on so 65,536. No. I think that's it. This is a summary for chapter 8. So subnetting so V4 V4. So it's used for uh, so it's an efficient use for uh, address in V4 for V6. So it's just for. Uh, Good. Submit ID. Alright. That's it.